stayed there. I kept pushing, just as I always had where Shelby was concerned, hoping that she would sit up and argue with me. But finally, we realized there was no hope. At that point, I started to panic. I did not think I would survive the next few minutes when they turned off the machines. Drum left, he couldn't take it. Jackson left, he couldn't take it. <laughs> I thought that's amusing, you know? Men are supposed to be made of steel or something. But I could not leave my Shelby. I just sat there, held a hand as the sounds got softer and the beeps got farther apart until it was quiet. There was no noise. There was no tremble, just peace. And as a woman, I thought how lucky I was. I was there when this wonderful person drifted into my world, and I was there when she drifted out. It was the most precious moment of my life thus far. Well, I don't know how your insides are doing, but... Your hair is holding up beautifully. <laughs> All it needs is a lick and a promise. Did you have it done in Shreveport? No, I, I did it myself. Oh, now, Missy, I don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> <laughs> so I do it my own hair. I had no idea about the back. You did a beautiful job. <laughs> I'm just smoothing out some of the rough edges, is all. In fact, and Elle's going to be going out on maternity leave, and I'm going to need a little bit of help around here. Would you be interested? It's just that there's so much going on. I didn't know if I'd have the time or, or feel like coming in. But this morning, I want you to be here more than anything else in the world. Isn't that silly? <laughs> No. <laughs> you know, I had to go to Shelby's closet last night for something. What do you think I found? All our Christmas gifts. Stacked, wrapped with her own two little hands. I better go. Oh, wait, you, you have to check back. <laughs> oh, oh, perfect. Oh, as always. You know. You know, Shelby's right. <laughs>